I would like to say true because they have that story about the shea um, nuts. I believe that's what shea butter comes from, shea nuts. They have a story about that on the back of it, um, starting in Africa and it's like a family business. So I would say true. And that was also what I was considering because it's such a big company now and it kind of dries my hair out a bit. So it seems like they aren't too in touch with their people. I started using Cantu and then I was a bit suspicious of how cheap the products were. And once you read the, the ingredients in it, I was like, hmm, this is a bit suspicious. Um, and I didn't necessarily like the way it felt on my hair. So that made me think, okay, is this made by black people for black people? I don't think so. So that's when I do it, started doing more research because like you said, going into the multicultural section, I'm trying all these different products and I'm like, why aren't they working out? And then I realized it's because they aren't made by black people for black people. Um, so that's why I've made a conscious decision absolutely to look for black owned products for my hair because Nobody knows my hair better than, you know, another black person. So if I can invest in our community as much as I can, I absolutely will. Two new products that I recently got are Nature's Blessings by Mama Sunshine, as well as her Mama's Coconut Water. So these two products are local here in California from Inglewood, California. Mama Sunshine is a natural hair um, hairstylist as well as, well as product creator. And these are amazing products. When you're looking at the ingredient, ingredients, you can pronounce every single one and you can identify every single one. This one I use when my hair is in a protective style such as braids or twists. I apply this to my scalp to keep it nice and moisturized and it, moisturized, and it also keeps um, my hair super shiny and moisturized as well. Perfect for nighttime use or daytime if you want to refresh your scalp. Currently, I like Melanin Hair Care. It's by the YouTuber Natural85. The leave-in conditioner detangles my hair really, really well. The twisting cream is great for like when you're doing protective styles. So, like I do a lot of twist outs and braid outs. So it helps keep my hair moisturized. And the oil is perfect for when your hair is dry like sandpaper. I haven't really found any shampoo and conditioners that I like, um, but I have started using Briogeo, which is also black owned. Um, I use their scalp revitalizing scalp shampoo and conditioner little kit thing. One thing I would say is try to stay away from the coconut oil. It will weigh your hair down because it is so heavy. But light oils like avocado and pumpkin and uh, grapeseed, those type of oils are like perfect and it's a perfect balance. When I started my natural hair journey, I kind of just used products that a whole bunch of people raved about, which was mainly Cantu and Shea Moisture. At the time, didn't really realize that those two products were not working for me. Um, but the more I got into my hair journey, the more I realized that those two products were not for me. And I also found out that they were not black owned. It took me a while to get moisturized hair. It took a lot of fails. Every black owned company is not good for your black hair. Some people just slap their name on stuff and say they, they did it. I would definitely say doing my research by looking at multiple YouTube videos of different reviews and not famous reviews, not famous YouTubers, regular YouTubers that are low level, that it's not going, that's not getting sponsored for these videos. Natural hair has just started to become a huge thing. Partially why I went natural, partially not why I went natural, but it's becoming a huge thing. And I would rather shop black on for somebody that knows my hair and knows what's good for my hair than to shop with these white companies that don't know nothing about my hair and I walk around here with straight pieces right here and, and curly pieces up here. That's not what I want. I want my healthy natural hair. And I'm gonna go shop with the black people that know what healthy natural hair is.